What's going on YouTube? Lou here. Let's just jump into the story time, man. So boom, I got a bro that hit me up excited the other day. He was like, yo, I'm about to get these Travis Scotts. I got a deal for them. I copped them for only 1200 right? I was like, okay, cool, not bad. On account that they're on stock X for almost $2,000, I said, all right, it's not a bad, it's not a bad purchase, I guess. Even though these shoes are coming out in about a month, so my bro had to have them, so he copped them anyway. He said, man, I can't wait for another release. I'm gonna go ahead and get them now because I know they're gonna jump back up to this price, ah, ah, which they very may well do. But again, I'd rather just take my chances. If not, hit up one of my plugs, see if I can get them for something reasonable, but over $1,000 for some Jordans, I'm cool. So boom, yesterday comes, he finally gets the shoe and he hits me up like, yo, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro, like they got me. Now I automatically knew exactly what he was talking about, right? So I was just like, yo, what you mean? Like, you talking about the, the Travis Scott joints that came in? He was like, yo, these joints ain't it. And I was like, yo, how you know they not it? <laughs> yo, he said he opened the box up and he saw this. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I can't read this. I don't know what it says, but it's definitely in Chinese. And it's pretty much a given that you got got. Tommy got the pair on eBay and the buyer told him that he purchased them from the sneakers app when they first released. So I know the first thing I asked him, I said, yo bro, look, before you return them, let me take a look at these, man. Let me review them. Let me share with you guys so y'all know what to look for. Um, and I'm just, I'm just trying to help somebody out. And I gotta say, I gotta say, the quality on these, I was amazed, I'm not gonna lie. For it to be such a low quantity of authentic pairs out right now, it's hard to be able to compare and contrast on what's really authentic and what's not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack these open, man, see what we got going on. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Look at the box. It looks pretty good, man. Um, the label, the fonts look nice. Nothing looks too, like, warped or squished together. Let's go ahead and read it here. We got Air Jordan 1 High OG TSSP. Um, says the suggested retail is USD $160. I believe it's supposed to be 175. Somebody check on that for me. But other than that, man, I mean, it looks good. The fonts don't look off. So basically what bro was telling me was he opened up the box and the first thing he saw was this guy right here. And just looking at the imagery, I guess at the bottom is telling you how to wash it or what not to wash it in. <laughs> don't leave it in the sun. Don't put it in the washing machine. Um, it shows you how to wear the shoe correctly. And up top it tells you not for soccer or basketball, but definitely okay for running. I don't know about you guys, but definitely not running in my Travis Scott's. Anyway, moving on to the paper. The Cactus Jack graphic is clean. Finally taking a look at the shoe. So aside from seeing the Chinese syllabus, my first thought is that these are authentic. So taking a good look at these, man, I'm, I'm just in awe, bro. Like, look at the leather. Like, the leather has that nice tumble creasing in there, just like just like the Union Ones. You can see the direction of the sway actually changing as I move my fingers past it. With flash on, you can actually see the Cactus Jack under the swoosh. That's impressive. On the back here, we got the Cactus Jack logo. And the emboss on this logo is very impressive, man. I mean, they got it in there. It looks very clean, very authentic. Looking at the inside. And laces out. So he wears a size nine, got Cactus Jack right there at the bottom. The insole does look a little cheap. It kind of looks like a third party replica. Taking out, taking out the insole, typical. Got some threads under a piece of tape there at the bottom. Cactus Jack here on the tongue. Stitching is pretty good. Doesn't look or feel cheaply done. It's actually in there. Nike Air at the top of the tongue. Trademark on the back. Sole is clean. Stitching on the midsole is clean. I don't know, man. These, these are crazy. I'm gonna have to get a real pair in hand so I can do a true comparison. Going deeper into the rabbit hole. Second pair with the laces. I will say on the authentic pair, I love the lace choice. And just more of the same that we've seen on the other pair. This pair is pretty much up to par in quality. Checking out the Velcro tab under the wing of the shoe. The quality to use on the inside actually feels really nice. This might be a giveaway right here. Check out the stitching on the inside. It's kind of poorly done, but bro, other than that, these shoes are actually incredible. Like the quality is really good. 
because I'm sure you guys, just like myself, we can spot a fake pair, but if these were on feet, I don't see me being able to spot that out off of first glance. Or even on the Facebook group or on eBay, like if I saw these on the web, I would definitely think they were authentic by first glance, but these guys are definitely making it hard to tell nowadays, man, it's crazy. All right, serious question. If somebody gave you this pair for free, would you rock it? Right now, today, before the shoe comes out, have them on your feet, they look authentic. Are you rocking this in the mall? When you go out, take a lady to the movies, are you rocking this pair? How many of y'all are gonna put this pair on foot and rock it as if it's authentic? Let me know in the comments below, man. How do y'all feel about fake shoes? I'm impressed, man. I can't lie, this is actually very impressive. Even the wing of the shoe, I mean, you can't tell that this shoe is not the real thing. I'm gonna get a real pair. I don't know how I'm gonna get it, whether it's resale or retail, and I'm gonna do a real and fake comparison. Just like I did on the Off-White Prestos, man, and we're gonna figure this out together, man. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely do so. Got a lot of dope content coming up this summer. More travel, more tech, more fashion. And yeah, you guys stay safe out there. I'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.